I received a call the other day saying, hey, your father's at the end of his life and um, it doesn't look good for him. 76-year-old Wayne Muskokaman is dying from congestive heart failure at Hamilton Continuing Care on Wentworth Street South. And then I started thinking I'd like to talk to him before he, he leaves this world. I, there's a few things I need to get out to him and talk to him about. He moved to Hamilton in the 80s to care for his ailing mother and never left. He loved Hamilton. Hamilton was his life. He just loved it. He never came back to the States to see his kids. And um, I just really want to talk to him and, and have a heart to heart with him and find out the whys. Why did he choose to do that? But arranging to have that difficult conversation has been a challenge because of COVID-19. So I started researching to find out how do I get across to see my dad before he takes his last breath, and, and there's all these obstacles. Bill Muskokaman has been trying to get into the country from Michigan without having to quarantine for two weeks. He says the websites are confusing. He filled one form out wrong and was denied. I think there, there should be a little more compassion, and I really think that don't just refer somebody to the internet and say, go find the forums online. There should be somebody that you could call and, and they can kind of guide you through it. Bill Muskokaman says when the doctor called him on Wednesday, they told him his dad, Wayne, didn't have much time left and he was definitely in the last stage of his life. When you get that phone call saying, hey, your, your loved one has taken their last breath, you need to get over here. I mean, you got a lot of stuff going through your mind and you just, you can't think straight. And so as you're trying to navigate through there, and if you miss something, if you don't cross the T's and dot the I's, it's automatic denial. They just deny you. Bill managed to get permission from the federal government and crossed into Canada this afternoon. He saw his dad about an hour ago and plans to FaceTime with his siblings so they can say their goodbyes as well.